You spoke a little bit before about uh, Gambino. He's actually on the deluxe. Yeah. Um, the name of the track is Driving, Driving Miss Daisy. Daisy. Uh -huh. um, can you just talk about working with him? And um... Gambino is like the man. Shout out to Gambino. So Gambino is... He's fucking weird and different, and that's awesome. You know what I mean? Like, he's himself. And um, I think he has internal struggles like everybody. I think, uh, you know, if Gambino didn't exist, Logic wouldn't exist, you know? I was a huge fan of Gambino before I ever worked with him. So that was weird, yeah. I mean, I was a huge fan of Donald Glover before I was a fan of Childish Gambino, before I was a friend with him. So uh, that was really awesome, you know what I mean? I think... Um, I think I play it cool, obviously, in all situations because we're all just fucking human beings. But if I'm a fan of you, I'm a fan of you, and I'll, and I'll let you know. Um, but how that came about, my DJ and his DJ knew each other, and then I guess you know maybe I, I got on his radar somehow, and he was like, you know, kind of, hey, reach out, just let him know, I know what's up, and he followed me on Twitter, and I was like, oh, cool, da da da, and it was just cool like that. We exchanged phone numbers, and and then one day he he invited me over to his crib, and this is where I met Fam. Shout out Fam, motherfucker, fucker. Anyway, fam is like the homie, homie, homie. He is, there are, not, there are not many good people in this industry and my circle is extremely small, but those are the very, very, very few, including Stefan, people that, let me show some love to this camera too, you know what I'm saying, what's up? Uh, those are the very few people that I um, consider friends, you know, that I feel like if for whatever weird fucking reason I need a place to stay, I could call so and so. You know, if he's in the fucking country because they're so busy, I could call fam or this or that. But all that excluded, because I, I just want people to know, like, it's real. Like, it's it's not no fucking cosign. It's not that like they're great people, and that's I'm honored that they like Gambino just just work with anybody. So the fact that he would give me a verse and like it's not a cosign, but feel like okay enough to work with me, like I know who I am, what I'm doing, and I'm I've asserted myself. It just makes me feel really good. All that aside, uh, all the standness out of the, out of the situation, I was on I was on the road and I produced so I produced the song, and um, I sent it to Gambino on some totally homey shit, like not even like yo get on this or that or da da da, um, which may, might be hard to believe because it's like well why did you send it to him then he's a rapper da, da. but for me it was like yo this is weird this is different this is kind of in his lane I wonder what he thinks about this in general maybe as a pointer or two or this or that and I sent it to him with uh, my first verse that's all I had at the time I recorded it and produced it on the tour bus and sent it to him and he hits me back and he's like, yo, he's like, I'm laughing, I'm literally laughing out loud at how dope this is. And I was like, what? Like, for real? And he's, he's like, yeah. And I was like, oh, you can get on it if you want. You know, if you like it that much, motherfucker, all right, okay. And um, so, uh, yeah, it just, it just worked out, man. I was like, if you like it, whatever. And long story short, he did it. And, you know, he's a very busy man. So some, sometimes I don't like to go directly to him because I want to keep our personal relationship good and not be all business. And that's why it's great to have fam there as well because fam, know, they both know my heart and my intentions, but it's good to go to fam and be like, yo, um, you know, I, I know, I know Donald said he was about, you know, doing this. I just want to see, is he free? Is he this? And that. And um, that's, that's how that happened. But shout out to them. They're, they're great people. You know, man, I just wanted to ask you, man, because um, Gambino, a lot of people talk about Gambino and they refer to him in the same context as authenticity. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting, the conversation with authenticity in 2014, because authenticity is essentially speaking from your point of view. Mm -hmm. And that's all it is. I think it's being yourself. I think you can't win in this game. Um, I am focused on this album and this album right now, so, but I have material, all right, and one song, it goes, uh, they're probably expecting that shit from the first album, man, fuck that, and they'll say that I changed, and I'll just say I had to show them my range, because if I do what I did, then they'll say it's the same, you just can't win in this game. So it's like if, if later, when I come out with the next album, later, under pressure right now, later, um, they're gonna expect an album like this. And if I give it to him, everybody's gonna be like, man, same shit. He's always rapping the same shit. It's the same stuff, the same sound, the same this, da 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 da. And if I change, they'll be like, man, he's fucking changing, man. He's changing up. I wanna switch it up. Everything's switching up, da da da. So what the fuck am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? And for me, I just gotta, I gotta be happy and make the music that I believe um, makes me happy and that I love, man. Fuck everybody else. Yo, 
I go on tour and sell tours out, okay? That's incredible, all right? And as long as I'm making the music that I want to perform live, man, I'm happy as fuck, bro. Like, I'm, I am happy. And so, but when it comes to authenticity, I think this motherfucker, he is so funny, dude. He's like, what do he say? He was like, black dude in short shorts that's double suspect or some crazy shit. <laughs> like, you make fun of yourself. Like, bro, I look like squints from the Sandlot. I think, I think when you feel good in your own skin, you're authentic. I was scared to tell my story on this album because I thought people, the perception of me, you look at me, I look like this person who is lying about where he comes from or the things that he's seen or gone through just because of how I speak. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't think if the people in this room are what anybody would expect, you know? Like, you, like, you guys are incredible people and you don't really seem how you look. Like, you know, you, it's just, and I, I hate that. But I told my story on this because I was like, fuck it. People are either gonna believe it or they're not. But I'd rather be hated for who I am than love for who I'm not. And uh, yeah, but, but Donald was, uh, excuse me, Gambino was a big uh, help in me being me, for sure.